back to my channel. Today we are just finishing up my last page of my sketchbook. Like I wanted to get it done and out of the way. That way I could do a sketchbook tour and continue working on my other two sketchbooks, I think. But this was the last one of the little cottage vibe I was really feeling. Um, what have I been up to this week? I just don't want to talk about the picture. Like, it's a cute little illustration. We got a kitty on her head. Like, it's playing hide and seek, and they're in the woods. Little girl. I wanted to, her to have buck teeth, but I didn't really represent it very well in this picture. So, I do that digitally at the end. But I just use Ohuhu markers and Posca pens and this off-brand painter's markers that I think I got at Hobby Lobby. And I tell you what, they worked fantastic compared to the Posca pens. Like, good. Like, I, I totally recommend them if you're looking for a little bit cheaper brand. Right here. They look great with those leaves. Yeah, they're very opaque and soft. They, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. But, um... I don't know, I more want to talk about what I've been thinking with my art, okay? So, uh, like, just painting on canvas, um, I really don't think it's for me. I mean, I still do it, I still do commissions and stuff. It's just like, with the detail and the layering and the mediums and stuff with it, and I don't know, I just ain't been feeling it. So... I've been like thinking, what do I like? Okay, I love my markers, I love my sketchbook, okay? There's one. I enjoy gouache, but I enjoy it in my sketchbook. Same thing with watercolor. I like watercolor, but in my sketchbook. So I'm like, man, what do I like? I really enjoy mixed medium stuff, okay? I like mixing different mediums. <laughs> I like using different things because I get bored like it's really hard for me to stay focused on one thing so if I can pull in multiple uh, mediums to use at once it's easier for me to stay focused and be happier with the end product so my next video just a little spoiler um, that I'm working on I have been collecting wax okay like in your warmers your like wax warmers in your house i've been collecting it for like two years and i'm like you know what i'm gonna sculpt with this or i'm gonna paint with it or something so i started doing some research on youtube with like you know if anybody else had done it and i didn't see anybody use house wax for a painting but i did see something called encaustic painting which is 8 to 1 ratio usually of beeswax and I think Damar resin and oh my goodness I think I just found my medium that was just like meant for me that has Jessica written all over it so I'm about to experiment into kind of the realm of this um to see if it's something that I really want to invest in so that's what I'm going to be working on this week and that's why this video is just like a quick one and then I'm going to give you guys a sketchbook tour my next video but I want to play with some wax. I want to sculpt with it too but oh I want to paint with it. I want to just create some stuff so I'm really excited to do that video with you guys. I'm just trying to find myself as an artist and I'm really glad to have you guys along this journey with me because it's fun to share all my weird little ideas and stuff. Yeah, I hope you guys like what you see. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. It really helps. I know I say it every video just about, but I mean it. Like, thank you. Thank you guys so much. I think this may be the last of my sketchbook draw with me just for a little bit. 
I got some projects planned. I got like 26 things on a list that I just came up with idea after idea after idea that I am pumped to do. And I have most of the supplies for it because uh, my hubby spoils me a bit. Do I talk too fast? I feel like I talk too fast sometimes. Sorry, <laughs> I get excited. I really wanted to put some clouds on top of that sky back there, but man, that white Posca pen just n was not holding up with the brightness and the opaqueness, and I didn't want to spend the time going in layer after layer in my sketchbook. Maybe like some India ink or something on top of it would have been good. Or just like white paint. Getting the little mushroom details going. See it right here? It just would not hold up. I even tried the painter's markers, it just, it wasn't working. <laughs> Realizing here I forgot to color in the rest of the sky. See what I mean? I get distracted so easily. The kitty kind of looks like a pig, <laughs> but it looks cuter when I get to my digital piece. I just, I love digital art, y'all. I can zoom in, different brushes, mixed media. Kinda. I mean, it's still digital, but you can use, like, watercolor on top of oil paint effect. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet. You guys enjoy the rest of this little drawing, and then I will talk to you guys at the end. So here is the final illustration in my sketchbook, a little sideways smile, kitty on her head, that was really cute. And then I go in digitally and I just take a picture out of my sketchbook and I go on top of it and just play with it until I get it where I want it to. Looking at it now while I'm recording it. Um, I wish I would have lightened or darkened up her skin or hair. It's just, I don't know, too similar. But other than that, I really like her little thumbs in her pockets. 
Little buck teeth look so cute. And kitty looks more like a kitty and not a pig. <laughs> but I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the process of it. And I encourage you to try something like this. It was fun. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.